All right, AKA Packers, welcome back. Welcome back to the Christmas trade, the fireside chat. We're talking Walt Disney today, the Disney company, not the main, the company, and why you should not root for its destruction and what it really means for you if they do crumble. AKA Patters, welcome back to the channel. Merry Christmas to all of you. So, right here, you guys, you know, the Christmas tree. We have Disney ornaments on the Christmas tree. Just wanted to drop that before we get into what we're discussing. I'm not going to do any intros, right? We're not pushing anything today. Uh, just because it's everywhere, uh, it's on every single YouTube channel. Disney is crumbling. Disney is falling. Disney is cracking. Disney went woke and it went broke. We see Go woke, go broke with uh, companies like Gillette, Starbucks, and the list goes on and on. But what we really don't see is what it means. What does it mean when we have an entire, I hate the term, I hate the word, community actively rooting for the disaster of a major company for their own benefit? Now, I'm commentating on them commentating. I'm not naming names or calling people out because I just feel like it's useless. But I do have to say this. There are people within the walls of Disney that agree with you and I. There are people within the walls of Disney that are angry and aggravated that they have drifted so far away from their history and their culture. They cease to be a family entertainment business anymore. They are something else and there are something what they have become is not yet defined. Now, we do have some money, we do have some analytics, and we do really have some evidence on their decline. Merchandise, uh, theater, Disney Plus streaming, everything's dropping. But here's the thing, across the board, and Bob Iger did address this recently. Uh, the Marvels, I'm curious why you think that disappointed. You could look at Wish, um, Indiana Jones, what do you think? What's happening? What's happening? Well, I think you have to look at it a couple of ways. First of all, I think the movie movie business is changing, actually. Um, box office today is about 75% of what it was pre-COVID. I think we have conditioned the audience to, to expect that these films will be on streaming platforms relatively quickly and that the experience of, of accessing them and watching them in the home is better than it ever was. One, easier to access in terms of the technology. Right. Two, just the, just the visuals, you know, better sets. In, in, in your living room than, than before. And a, a bargain, when you think about it, streaming Disney Plus you can get for $7 a month, that's a lot cheaper than taking your whole family to a film. So I think the bar is now raised in terms of quality about what gets people out of their homes. We're in a weird time when it comes to the economy. The economy, uh, there are so many indicators. People have predicted the stock market to crash by now. People have predicted retail to crash by now. People have predicted mass bankruptcies by now, housing, uh, you know, like, and none of it quite happened. And the reasons for this is because we've actually, since COVID, have seen a new consumer base emerge. A consumer base that is far more tolerant of financial loss than generations before. With all of that said, those individuals inside of Disney that agree with you, and me, and the AKA Pad Army, we don't want them to lose their jobs. We want them to stay where they are. The individuals in power pushing ideas, ideologies, thoughts, things, images that we just don't agree with, we want them pushed out. But who is to push them out if the people we don't agree with aren't there? So, the health of the company must be maintained. The value of the company must be maintained. There's uh, reports of proxy wars, uh, investors are suing, all of these things. But this is what happens when the company is in decline. And this is what happens when there is no clear path to profitability. We don't want Disney selling off divisions. We don't want Disney selling off Star Wars or ESPN or ABC or you know that blender you have on your counter because we know that they were involved with that too. We want Disney to be strong and healthy because... 
We live in a creative world. We live in a creative economy. We live in creative capitalism. There is no other company on earth that sends creatives into retirement that have lived good lives, that have healthy retirements, than the Walt Disney Co. Walt Disney himself created that company to change the landscape. And we're in a very confusing time when it comes to the economy, and we're in a very confusing time when it comes to culture, culturally. We shouldn't root for disasters. We shouldn't root for Indiana Jones Part 8, uh, the Dale of Destiny, whatever you want to call it. We shouldn't root for the failures of that, or the failures of the marbles. We want success, but if failures do happen, it is to be understood that there's a ledger. There's a ledger, and people know, they know inside that company why failures happen and why successes happen. Now, given you can't really chart things that pop culturally or things that even pop on the internet or things that go quote-unquote viral, because there's always this 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 unpredicted, unprecedented, uh, presidented, presidentes. Uh, there, there's there's also the audience, and 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 there's no indicator to exactly anticipate how the audience react reacts, even when something goes to the moon. That makes it all interesting. And that what makes the entertainment business as complicated as it is. It's not an easy business. It is for tough people. What we want from Disney, we want Disney to be strong. We do not want Disney to fail. We want Disney to be a haven for creative people because there's really no one else there. I get it. We get Viacom or Warner Brothers and some of these other companies. But we need something like Disney to, even on the industry practice, uphold a lot of the creative standards that, you know, like when, when we really look at something like the growth of the video game industry, which makes more money than everything, a lot of the, the way how a corporation interacts with creative people was founded, was solidified. Those practices were sculpted at Disney later to be copied into the video game industry. So the point I'm getting at, there's a lot to learn. And Disney cannot crumble because then what do we have? Disney is a name and even right now the reason why people get frustrated with Walt Disney is the connection to that name. This is a storm that must be weathered. We must weather the crumbling, the crashing of the MCU, knowing it will never come back to its heights. Same with Star Wars, same with Indiana Jones, same with Willow. Trust me, these properties will get reformatted, reformed, reappropriated into what they then know is the larger audience because there's enough information on the ledger to know what type of characters to leave out, what type of positioning to leave out storylines, and what creators or creatives should be involved with some of these projects. This is a time of testing and rooting, rooting for the destruction of Disney for your own benefit hurts you in the long run. We should be helping Disney grow. We should be helping Disney identify what is happening. And I, I get it, there's a 24 hour news cycle for a lot of these YouTubers. We're not about that on the AKA Pad channel and the AKA Pad army. But I just want those of you to see this and we're not positioning this video for SEO. We're not positioning this video for even clicks. But I know that a small amount of you will watch this all the way through. You are the ones that will gain the true perspective because you actually do care. And the people that don't, and the people that want to play tribalism and ideology, they'll watch the first five seconds of this video and turn it off as soon as I don't start bashing Disney. People, it's not truthful, it's not honest. Uh, there's holes in rooting for the uh, destruction of Disney argument. We want them to be strong. We need them to be strong. It gives us hope, it gives us hope to be a full-time creative, raise a family, have a retirement, and get sent off to a villa in Florida. Guys, subscribe, support, leave a comment. I love you. A little bit of a rant there, 
but I really just had to get this off my chest. I, I've just been seeing way too much of let's hate on Disney and let's cheer when Disney falls.